In 2016, I discovered that I had a large lump in my left breast. On the mammogram, it showed that the breast lump was about the size of two golf balls. I've been using the wand and the coil for 45 days. Last week when I went to my doctors, she reported that my breast lump has gone away. She's also provided me with a letter that documents these findings. During our visit, she also shared with me that she was pleasantly surprised to see my anemia was gone as well. I started using the breast cancer frequencies. And the interesting thing is, uh, as you can see on the, the CT scan report, there was a tumour on the fifth rib at the back. You can see that the tumour markers uh, below 50 is normal. And I think my last one was at about 20. The CA 15.3 tumour markers are the, um, the breast cancer tumour markers. You'll probably see, see the CA 15.3 test. There should be a current result and then there'll be previous ones. So they say that under 50 is what, you know, is normal for most people would have that amount of cancer cells in their blood. It's a marked difference when I've been using the wand. That's all I can say. It's I was diagnosed with stage 3 anaplastic large cell lymphoma, which is a, an aggressive cancer cell. The chicoil that was purchased for the family contributed to my speedy recovery process, meaning three months ago, I was literally bedridden and couldn't walk 10 feet using a walker. Currently, I'm driving around. I returned back to work. The chicoil frequency healing had a major contributing factor into the success of my healing rate. I would like to give some positive feedback for David and his products. I've used his single coil system, Many Legacy, mm. ever since I was diagnosed with stage four prostate cancer. I have been using that and I use it 24 seven. My stage four, my PSA was over 200, which normally is zero through four. Mm. I've been using his coil and with the prostate frequencies, prostate cancer frequencies mm. and other cancer frequencies. And my PSA has dropped with everything from over 200 to down to 1.3. And I just want to thank David for his technology. That's great. I had another gentleman who came to me. He was diagnosed with a tumor on his kidney. So the tumor was about the size of a grapefruit. We started working with him doing treatments, one treatments daily. He was scheduled for his surgery and his consent that he had signed for the surgery was a total nephrectomy, which is a total removal of the kidney. But upon arriving at the hospital, the urologist decided to do a ultrasound. They come to realize that the tumor had shrunk from the size of a grapefruit to the size of a lemon. So opposed to taking out the total kidney, they were able to go in with a scope and just bag the tumor that was the size of a lemon and remove it through the scope. It's like a little cyst and I've had it uh, behind the left breast for uh, mm. many years, actually. And uh, I started putting the wand on it. I was using that on, on this particular area. And within four days, that little thing just disappeared and there was no soreness. It's a, it's a very nice, nice thing to, to actually get a result like that, that it's cut my pain in half. It has. And that's going from being heavily, heavily sedated and, and uh, intoxicated by prescription medications to not having any medication at all because of frequencies. We did Wanda everything. I did Wanda on him every single day for 35 days in a row. He went oh. back to for his check. His AC1 was, his, was within normal. His primary care physician had taken him off of his insulin. The spots on his liver were gone. The gone. tumor on his original kidney and the tumor that he had metastasized to his left kidney had become mush from the inside out. There was nothing in it. It was just a, a mushy mass of, they couldn't even identify what it was. My next client was a gentleman, 67 years old. He was a re-diagnosis of colon cancer, went for a routine colonoscopy, and they diagnosed him with stage four recurrent colon cancer, did the light wand therapy. And when he went for his recheck appointment, they could find no tumor. And when they checked him at the doctor's office through a sigmoidoscopy, there was nothing there. So they gave him a clean bill of health. 